With the intensity and recurrence of the phenomenon of climate change, agriculture in Senegal is much affected and has become very vulnerable with an unavoidable consequence, the occurrence of food insecurity. To respond to these climate shocks, the government of Senegal, with the financial support of the government of Quebec, has launched the saga Sécurité Alimentaire une Agriculture Adaptée, or Food Security, Adapted Agriculture in English. This project is implemented by the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Its main objective is to transform the agricultural sector in order to strengthen the resilience of actors for food security, nutrition and sustainable development. Le projet a aidé le gouvernement du Sénégal. This project supported the government of Senegal in its adaptation program, but also to implement the contribution program within the country. We are at around 1,300 people on the field and more than 150 experts that have been trained in the national and international levels. I think these are the outstanding results in three years and they are promising tomorrow in this program. Vraiment une des perspectives vraiment prometteuses. Notre collaboration avec le Sénégal remonte à très longtemps. Uh, C'est intéressant d'ailleurs parce qu'on a plusieurs. Our collaboration with Senegal has been lasting for so long, and this is so because we have several international organizations that are based in Senegal. Quebec is also involved in the francophonie, and for us, it was important to contribute. And I reckon this is one of the points that have favored our growing experience in Africa and particularly in Senegal. In Africa and in Senegal. And so, as we have a relationship for a long time, as we have a general delegation in the country based in Dakar, we have all that concerns Francophone Africa as a space of solidarity. As a matter of fact, these are the main reasons for which we have decided to be in partnership with Senegal concerning the Saga project. On the official side, the purpose is to work together with the sectoral ministries like those in charge of agriculture and environment. This to reinforce their personal capacities so that they can plan and implement programs, as well as implementing the country's commitment regarding the Paris Agreement. This is very important for the country because it contributes to supporting its official entities to work on the adaptation plans for climate change as all the countries have to do so. It's also to reinforce national partners' capacities so that they can conduct future negotiations, which is important. Indeed. The Saga project contributes to the FAO's efforts to achieve the zero hunger objective by focusing on supporting agricultural producers, considering gender issues for the empowerment of women and the insertion of youth and agriculture value chains. In Senegal, the project has been implemented in different regions and has provided technical and material support to more than 1,300 producers. And this was made possible thanks to the collaboration of Quebec and the Senegalese partners in a participatory dynamic. This morning, we went to the region of Chess, located about 50 kilometers away from the core, the Senegalese capital. Here we are in a field of some producers in the village of Dagudan, commune of Pambal, located a few kilometers away from the holy city of Tiawan. These women, a group in an economic interest group, EIG, have just completed a training course on agricultural ecological practices for adaptation to climate change. We've been working together since gardening, including transplanting, maintenance of the plants until the harvest. As you see, we have already made three harvests and we are currently in the fourth one. We have learned a lot, mainly in the adaptation strategies to climate change. 
As you can see on the film, the example is visible. We have two films, one is the PP and the other one is the PPA, which concern the adaptation plans to climate change. We are farmers living in a village and we need to master good practices for a better adaptation to climate change. I found a great interest with the arrival of the Saga project. It allowed me to acquire knowledge in the agricultural field that my grandparents and my parents, although being farmers, did not give me. I have had enough experience with this project. We have started to see the benefits. We are on the third harvest and we have stored a total of 80 kilograms. And that makes us gain a lot of money. And we don't buy peppers anymore. This is where we get everything we use in our households. The modules provided seem to be very well assimilated here, as the results are visible in this market gardening area. As you can see, you can assess what happened here compared to other agricultural areas based on the results. The good practices consist of using Zai method which comes from Burkina Faso. Here we have tried to innovate, as we don't have enough organic matter, so the decision was to explore what we have in the village. These matters you have seen there is what we use. We sieve them and take out all these not usable, like the small stones and others. Then, with the organic matters we have, we add it to the sowing, and the results are much better than for those who don't have it like the non-decomposite organic fiber. We also sometimes use a lot of fertilizers. In Pambalboy, another village not far from Dagudan, women farmers are harvesting eggplant. Here as well, and thanks to the initiatives of the Saga project, the farmers have been able to make significant progress in their agricultural practices. The Saga project is a good initiative. Thanks to the project, we are trained on the new agricultural practices. And we have noticed that with these new methods, the seasonal period does not last as before, and we have noticed an increase in agricultural yields. Before, we could spend more than three months in the vegetable fields, but now, in one month and ten days, we start harvesting. And the benefits are enormous. We sell part of the crops and the rest is for home use. And these effects can be felt even at the health level. Indeed, we are healthier now with these organic products. In addition, it is easier and more sustainable to keep the crops of good agricultural practices than those of peasant practices. The Saga project came at the right time. It has improved the agricultural practices of the women of the village. I can say that as a village chief, this is the first time I have seen such a project in Pambalboy. It is a project that has really supported the women here. I would like to thank you sincerely for the support to the women and the youth of my village. These actors play an important role in the fight against food and nutritional insecurity. This is why the Saga project trains them in the field of nutrition, particularly in the processing of local products. And these women from the village of Panjenu, found in the middle of a session, are all satisfied with the progress of the activities. Madame Samakar, Def Kompidur Papai, Def Kompidur Batanse. I remember I once processed a papaya and eggplant, and it was very delicious and my family members enjoyed it. Since then, I have been processing the products myself into juice, jam, etc. I am even thinking of making juice with carrots. What reassures me in this consumption is that it is purely organic. And so, I can say that we consume 100% organic here.
bio à 100%. Le fait qu'elle qu fasse le maraîchage, c'est une bonne chose. The fact of growing vegetables is a very good thing for them. I made a visit to their garden and saw that they grow vegetables. And knowing that one's food needs to be rich in vitamins and micronutrients, the latter can be found in fruits and vegetables. Microgardening really plays an important role for them. A un rôle essentiel dans cela. On a cinq champs, écoles de producteurs. We have five school production fields as well as 12 training sessions from March 2020 to today, which contributed to the training of 131 producers, including three men and 128 women. In these 12 training sessions, we have recruited 20 facilitators, including 13 women and seven men, and we have been trained in the agricultural techniques. The purpose was for them to collaborate with trainers and then to be able to train farmers. The farmer's school approach has been replicated in other regions of the country, notably in Kalak, in the center of Senegal, and in the north in Matan. In Gapach, for example, a village in the Kalak region, Producers grouped in an EIG have been working for more than two years on good agricultural practices in their market garden. The particularity of this garden is that beyond the collective fields belonging to the group, each producer has his own cultivable plot. The school field is a collective field that belongs to all the members of the EIG and we put the revenue we get from it in the farm. But the other plants that you see belong to us individually. And these activities help us a lot in managing our daily problems. Really, there has been a big difference from the practices of the past. With GAP, good agricultural practices, we are doing well financially. And this has allowed us to take better care of our children's education. I have three children who are students. The first one is at UCAD. The second one is in the Polytechnic School of Chess. And the third is in a school university of Sin Salum of Kaulak. And just yesterday, one of them called me for this registration fees. And thanks to the Saga project, I'm able to pay for his registration. Another thing, the project has allowed us to strengthen our ties and to solidarize ourselves. My health has improved a lot since I started eating organic products. There are no more chemicals in our conception habits. We are grateful to the people in charge of the project. Before, I used to go to Dingirai to buy vegetables and other things, and that cost me a lot of money. But now I spend less, and I have all the products that I need at hand. After Gapar, we moved to Samanjain, a village in the commune of Kursose. Like producers in Gapar, these market gardeners have strengthened their capacities in agroecological techniques. Before the arrival of the Saga project in Samanjayen, we had almost no activity as women. It was difficult for us to have access to land to practice agriculture. But since the project met with us and the village chief granted us 100 square meters, we started to go on our own. We have been trained on agroecological techniques of adaptation to climate change. Today, we are able to practice good agriculture and the results are there. This year, we were able to harvest at least 70 kilograms of an area of 20 square meters. Now, the situation has totally changed. We are no longer dependent on our husbands, our brothers. In short, we are dependent on anyone. We have become autonomous. We manage our own needs. Moreover, it is with this project that we opened a savings bank. Each member gives 5,000 CFA francs, and every 15th of the month, we meet and we put at the disposal of one person 200,000 CFA francs.
Depuis l'implantation de Chant École des Productrices avec le part, en partenariat avec Carrefour International. Since the implementation of the school field in collaboration with Carrefour International and FAO, we can say that the gains are enormous because this project allowed us to produce a lot of tomato and eggplant varieties that we could not afford any longer. And this during the rainy season and the dry season as well. Thanks to the school field, we have learned about the attenuation and the adaptation techniques. The attenuation consists of choosing seeds that are adapted to climate change. And for adaptation, the seeds must adapt to the climate where we work. We also learn about the soil, the topography, as well as the conditions for each area. Notre initiative avec le projet Saga. Thanks to the Saga project, we have managed to implement 12 gardening projects through this authorization and water supply security systems, including fertilizers and other useful materials, like protection materials against the COVID-19. We have also trained 25 women facilitators through the school field project. Also, 265 producers have been trained by these 25 facilitators on gardening production through the school field approach. In addition to that, we have also held advocacy sections in our 12 villages of intervention in many gender-linked aspects. And the themes of these talks have been identified by the women within their community. Par les femmes dans leur communauté. After the center of the country, we went to Udalai in the region of Mata. To get here, you have to brave a long distance before entering the village. In this commune, the Center for International Studies and Cooperation in Senegal, in partnership with the Federation of Futa Associations for Development, has set up an integrated resilience garden in which a variety of vegetables are produced. The project is very important for us. For example, when I sell the soil that I have grown in the garden, I buy food for my children, or I add to my daily expenses to be able to prepare the meal properly. Thus, the project takes us out of a difficult situation and improves our living conditions little by little. We pray God to give full success to the Saga project. Thanks to the project, we have started to feel the development and well-being. Now, we practice our market gardening activities in the rainy season, as well as in the dry season. Today, we no longer buy onions and chilies. In the past, we used to go to Wurosogi or Raneru to buy condiments. But today, most of the vegetables we eat, we grow here. L'initiative euh, qu'on appelle, dénommée, donc, euh, Jardin intégré de résilience. This initiative that we have called Resilience Integrated Garden has lasted 26 months. There have been 223 households that are involved in that activity. Things are going on very well and the production is here. In a two-year campaign, we have been able to harvest some more than 60 tons for a value of 16 million CFA francs. For une valeur de presque de 16 millions de francs CFA. Aujourd'hui, vu le volume des productions, based on the production we have noticed, I can say that this project has positively impacted these women's daily life. They have improved the quality of their meals in addition to the supplies of their production that they sell to get money. In addition to that. We have noticed that the women had also started getting together to set up plants and synergies together, which has been a very important aspect of the project. This is a great impact for them within this association, and that will allow them to better prepare their future.
However, during the implementation of the startup project, producers were confronted with certain difficulties in different regions. These include lack of water, inaccessibility of arable land, and inadequate fencing to secure their production. Our main problem is access to water. It is extremely difficult for us as women and the pregnant women among us to fetch water to maintain their plants. So, we are asking for a modern watering system so that this headache will be a bad memory for us. In addition, we also want to be supported in many other income-generating activities. The difficulty is to a problem of water. The main constraints is regarding the availability of water. It was not easy for us to get water for the plants. But all the women are mobilized and they did their best to fetch water for the plants. You know, we are women. So, it is difficult for us to lift watering cans and go all over the garden to water. We would like to have access to water to facilitate our work. In addition, we also request the construction of a store within the garden to shelter our materials. The authorities in charge of the project seem to be sensitive to the advocacies made by these beneficiaries. The government of Senegal, in the case of the Ministry of Agriculture and the Equipment Rural, the government of Senegal, through the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Equipment, is implementing other projects and programs, in addition to the SAGA project, so that we can work in synergy. You spoke about fences, and we have several other projects and programs with partners who essentially work on securing gardening and agricultural perimeters with all the required quality. We are going to flow up all the beneficiaries of the SAGA project so that there will be some continuity. We are going to put all the stakeholders around the table and see locally what are the main problems so that we can find out together what are the solutions. If you take the case of scientific approaches in the water problematic, for example, all the data that are linked to that must be shared by all the stakeholders so that people will readapt their ways of dealing with that because they will be concrete and reliable data. It will be to sit together and gather all the local expertise in all the means to find concrete solutions so that they will have direct and positive impacts on populations. By contributing to the fight against the vulnerability of rural populations, as well as the youth and women of the country, the Saga project, which has been implemented in Senegal since 2019, has demonstrated that another world is possible.